Hello, welcome back to another video. It's a Jurassic fan here. And I haven't been posting for a while, so you know, this is kind of like a return video. And thank you so much for 7,000 subscribers. And so this special is going to be really, really special, at least in my eyes. If you guys don't think that this is special, I don't know what's special to you. These are my first pieces of Jurassic World Dominion merchandise. Here's one sealed. I have a Giganotosaurus that um, my friend might be taken. I don't really know, but uh, yeah. And it, oh, it's so beautiful. It looks like the capture things in the movie that we know are going to be in. Like the one that comes with the Atrociraptor ghost with um, Soyona Santos. I said that completely wrong, I'm sure. Sorry. Um, they have these little rip things. I'm going to do that sometime because that looks like it's a really cool and like kind of fun way to open this. Like the dinosaur is almost breaking out of it. Which is definitely what they're trying to do here. But um, I decided to keep them mint here. And so the way you're going to want to open them, you're just going to cut here or you can do that fun rip thing. I'm going to do that the next time I get these, which is whenever I go to the store. If there's some spare, I will 100% be getting them unless I am saving up for my beloved Therizinosaurus figure, which I do not have yet. But this is so exciting, and what's even more exciting is the figures that I just happened to get. So this is one that actually has one inside. I opened it, as you can see, and it's a very exciting figure that I'll be telling you about. But it's a duplicate, but it's amazing that it's a duplicate because of what figure it is, and that this is Jurassic World Dominion. I'll put this in the back. And here are all the characters that you can get. You can get the Therizinosaurus, Rexy, which is a big figure. As you can see, it comes alone on the back. The, uh, let's see, Yangchinosaurus. The Giganotosaurus, this one comes with the uh, blue. It comes with Velociraptor blue, so you can get Velociraptor blue. You can get the Giganotosaurus, which Giga and T-Rex are the big ones. You can get the Quetzalcoatlus, Quetzalcoatlus, which comes with the Gallimimus, small but cool. You have the Baryonyx, which is beautiful, and, well, they're all beautiful. And then it comes with the Iguanodon, and then you can get the Triceratops, and then it comes with the Pteranodon, and last but not least, there's Xenosaurus, and Leastrosaurus, Leastrosaurus. I've been saying it right! Oh my god, I'm on another- Dude, I literally forgot the name, but I was so sure that it was Leastrosaurus that I just called it that on Instagram, on everything. Oh my- Dude, oh my god. But let's keep that right there. Or should we show the Jurassic World Dominion logo? I don't know what's more exciting, guys. You gotta choose here. Oh, I don't have any more of the boxes. But, alright, let me get this box. Because my filming space isn't really good. Alright guys, are you ready for the first one? I got five of these. That's the fifth one. First, but not least. Oh, it's last but not least. The Giganotosaurus. Oh my god. <sighs> what is going on? The Stegosaurus with a Trosoraptor ghost. We're going to get into that in a little bit. Now, I must say... Even though this is the same sculpt, actually it isn't. They took the really nice dynamic one that came in that one set, and they turned it into a figure. Just already, right off the bat, you can see the paint is on another level. And you can see, it's actually a lot more squishy, and a better, like, material, if I may say. And the paint, come on, look at that. But, you know, this is its only articulation point, and it's all around great. Nothing really to say, because it's, you know, it's a stegosaurus, not to be mean or anything. But, whew, this is why I was excited to get the stegosaurus. Look at that. That is a Trociraptor ghost. I'll hold it far away and zoom in. Look at that. Look at that beauty. I was so excited to get this one, because it's the Atrociraptor. Oh, what a cool one. This is not what this mystery one is that I will be revealing at the end of the video. It's not a giveaway. My friend might have it. But, oh, 
Look at that. And it's all rubbery and nice. And it scales perfectly with the tri with the stegosaur. I don't have the triceratops. I keep on saying triceratops, but I don't have it. Alright, let's put you in the back. Actually, it would be more space if we put it like that. So, stegosaurus there. Triceraptor there. Alright, what should we do next? Now, this is actually my second not as exciting one, but still extremely exciting. Which is very surprising that this is not one of my most exciting ones. The Quetzalcoatlus, which is so cool. Now, we'll save the best for last once again. So, we're doing the Gallimites. And, oh my god, is its paint good. Now, it's just as nice and soft as the Atrociraptor Ghost. And the paint's beautiful. I mean, it's a Gallimites. What can I say? It's great. Look at those little eyes. Look at the paint. Look at that. This paint is so good. Look at that. And it stands up nice. We'll put her right next to Go. Oh, sorry, Ghost. They have foot pegs for a reason, but um, I can't find anywhere else to put them but that playset, which I originally was not going to get. Um, I'm getting it now. You know what? We'll put you after the Quetzal. Oh my god, is this Quetzal good. Look at that detailing. Look at the paint here. That's literally astounding. Look at that. I can't wait to see what this guy does in Dominion. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Look at the feathers. Look at the feathering detail. You can't really see it on camera. If I can zoom in. I can feel it for sure. See there? It's really, really small. It really looks like nothing, but there's a tiny bit of detail, I swear, man. A tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Or maybe there isn't. I don't know. But it's still, I mean, look at that. That's literally beautiful. Oh, my God. And one thing I really do like is you can actually kind of get it. If you put it like this, you can kind of get it in a standing pose. Well, if you can move it like that. He's kind of standing there, which is really, really cool. And then with how it's articulated, you can move it like this. So it's like, whew. And look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And the wings go all the way up and all the way down. I'm just glossing over these. I mean, I can't wait for this movie, but look at these. Wow. It's so beautiful. I'd love to go over it all day. Continue glossing over it. But we must push forwards. And actually, I don't want to block the Quetzal's head, so we know if the Gallimimus get stood up on it. Oh, no, we don't want the Gallimimus to get stood up. That would be sad. Um, but there is the Quetzal. Now, oh my gosh, I don't know which one is more exciting. Oh, man. Alright, let's play Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. Catch the Giganotosaurus by its toe. If it hollers, let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You heard it here, folks. You heard it here. Now I'm going to start off with the not as cool one. But this one, oh my god, I'm not sure. You know what? We're just going to do it. Oh my god. This is my most anticipated figure in mainline of 2022. Pharazinosaurus. Look at that beauty. And he comes with the little Lysteris. So let's zoom in on him. And he's really cute. Come on, look at him. Look at all that good paint. And look how small it is. Oh my god. But, oh, he's, this is better than like the Legacy Collection paint. <laughs> Those new Legacy Collections. But oh, oh, my nails are so dirty, dude. <laughs> but look at this beauty. He's so cute. Can't wait to see him in the movie. And that's all I really have to say. I mean, it's amazing that it's like a new creature. I'm not sure if this is a dinosaur. Um, it could be, but I'm not going to say it. Because 
I don't, I don't want to be a failure. All right, so we're gonna put him right there. Now, oh, I love this one. I literally yelled, like not too loud, but I yelled a little bit in excitement when I got this, cause I was so happy to get this. On literally, this was my last one. This was my last one. And the one before this was the duplicate, so it was like, oh no, this could end on a bad, worse note. And it was so perfect. Look, look at the eye detail. I mean, do I have to say anything else? This thing, now this thing does have some pretty good feather detail. If I may say for a dinosaur this small, I mean, look at that. It's a beauty. Look at the tail. You can clearly see that is the tail, and these are the feathers with that overlap. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh. This is the best herbivore. This is the best herbivore. You know, it might even have a chance to kill a T-Rex. Look at these claws. That's what I think is going to be in the movie. This, this, everyone's saying, oh, yeah, it's T-Rex versus Giganotosaurus. It's T-Rex gets beaten almost by Giganotosaurus, then Therizinosaurus jumps in, it's like, choo, 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 choo. and then T-Rex gets back up, and they finish the battle. And then just, oh my god. And the articulation here is the arms. What can I say? That's literally the perfect choice. It's so perfect. I, I've been playing with these things all day. I was so excited when I saw these in the store. And I was, I literally said, my favorite ones that I want, Quetzalcoatlus, Therizinosaurus, and the Giganotosaurus. And, oh my god, I almost got all of them. Which, I'm not revealing if I got the Giganotosaurus yet, so it's like, a surprise. But I did say that this new one, after this one, is better. So I guess it's spoiled. Now... I might like the Therizinosaurus more, but we did eeny, meeny, miny, mo catch the, the Giganotosaurus by its toe. Look at that. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. Also, it's looking like this is a very light green. It's not. Alright. But, wow. I mean, look at the sculpting on this thing. I literally have all the new big dinos from Jurassic World. Dominion. Look at that. Now, I'm gonna say, oh, that realistic, oh, but I'm gonna say, this duplicate was not a disappointment. But, oh, look at those spikes. Look at how big those spikes are. People may be saying that this thing has a, has a sale. They are wrong. Do not listen to them. These are the spikes. They over-exaggerated the spikes for, I guess, an, eff an effect, which, it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not mad about it. But some people are, and it's just the spikes, alright? It is not a sale. And I just want to show you, this guy came with no other dino, and he's so big. He's bigger than the usual ones. Look at how much bigger he is. Because these are all scale, which, oh my god... Thank you, Mattel, so much. And let me just tell you the price point. One of these guys, they cost around $5 or less. $5 or less. That is the best deal ever. Now, these are much, much, much more quality than the other ones. And you have a much better chance of getting the one that you want. Because it's a 1 in 8 chance, I believe. Um, 1, 2, 3, yep. 1 in 8 chance. So... Yeah, you have a good chance of getting whichever one you want if you if you just get five like I did. I mean, some people might have a really hard time. I know I'm extremely lucky because I know some people that have gotten all of the ones but the Therizinosaurus and Giganotosaurus, which I'm going to be honest, are like some of the best ones, and the Quetzal. But I'm just blown away by the work Mattel has put into these. Like... I mean, I'm so glad I literally own a Giganotosaurus and a Therizinosaur. And, oh my god. Oh my Do you do, do you see that, man? Do you know what that is? 
They put scars on it. Oh my god, zooming in, look at the fit. That is beautiful. Yo, look at the eye painting. Oh my god. They literally gave it a pupil. Guys, I am not stretching this enough. Buy these. <gasps> Yo, look at the scratch mark. There's even one right there. This, oh my god. Dude, I am so glad I bought five of these things. Let's see, any more? Uh, I don't know, I guess we'll find out after we see the movie which ones are actually scratch marks. These could actually be scratch marks from the Therizinosaurus, as I keep on saying. I mean, this is a complete theory by me, no spoilers at all. I might be dead correct, but yeah, this is literally all me, so I don't want you taking credit for that. Nah, there they are, yeah, for my work. There too, yeah, that's not natural. Oh my, God, this thing's getting slashed up. Yeah, I think only one thing and one thing only did that. And that's my boy, Therizinosaur. But, oh my god. You know what? We gotta zoom in on it roaring, you know? And it does have a part where you can tell when it's... Oh my god. Whenever I zoom in, just looking at all the detail, I'm just so glad. Oh, look at the tongue. Look at the mouth. Oh. I mean, I may sound really stupid right now. I know my brother's probably laughing at this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, oh, dude, look at the, oh, dude, I guess, so, oh my god, it's so freaking good, dude, oh my, yo, I wanna zoom in more on the Therizinosaur, but, oh, look at that bad boy, let's see this guy, yo, they did the people too, Dude, oh, but that Giga, though, it literally looks like they took the render for it and just shot it out. Because I drew that exact Giga render, and I'm, I may say, it was absolutely amazing by me, and it won a competition. So, you know, but, oh, man. Oh, Mattel, God. They have blown it away with Jurassic World. But Dominion, they are going all out. Look at the clock. If you guys get a Giganotosaurus, you're going to be so lucky, dude. You know, I actually don't think my friend is getting this. And um, this is what my friend may be getting. And let me just tell you what it is. And I'm not so mad about it. This, any, actually, any duplicates I'm not mad about at all. That's good for her building. But this, in this box, is the one and the only Giganotosaurus. That's right. Out of everything you can duplicate, the best ones to get are literally a Therizinosaurus or the Giganotosaurus. Or her building, I guess, Stegosaurus. But by the fact of cool meter, in my opinion, how did I get that lucky, dude? And just to prove to you. Just to prove to you. That's a Giga, man. It's staring right at you. That's a Giga. I want to zoom in on this thing again. Oh. It's... Oh, my God. That is so good. Mattel, gosh, let's see, this. even this man, they gave it a pupil, it's so small, dude, they gave it a pupil, oh my god, oh, the teeth are big, but who cares, I mean, it doesn't do anything to it, oh my god, look, look at that, Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so glad I found these. I'm so glad I have 7,000 subscribers, even though I'm probably more excited about these. 
But thank you all so much for watching this amazing video with amazing dinosaurs. I think this is the first review of these things ever. And I have all the big hitters. I have the Giga, the Thera, and the Quetzalcoatlus. And the Atrociraptor. No um, Pyraptors in the set. But, hey guys. I found this at my Target. And I was not expecting it. So you guys just go out there and look for some stuff. Alright. See you in the next video. Happy hunting. Bye.